But it's no longer really an opportunity or choice, it's an imperative. Into to telling the story, how do we make sure that, um, you know, we're taking full advantage of any and all assets that are on the, the grid and at customer premises. Welcome to the EI360 podcast. My name is Sandy Kaufman. I am joined here with David Swank, CEO of an exchange, and Mark Kotak. I'm going to have to read it because it's long, but it's important. Okay, VP, Chief Marketing and Communications Officer. Love it. And, I mean, LinkSpring Partners uh, Conference Organizer Extraordinaire. Oh, what else you. can we give you? Thank you. That's it. That's it. <laughs> A shot of bourbon. Yeah, that, that would be good now that it's over. Yes. Well, yeah. I- about what, what we've experienced here as a team and as partners. And mm-hmm. David, would you expand on that a little bit? Well, Mark, we, again, thank you for having us here. We, we, we believe that, you know, partnerships and relationships with, are not with company, we're with people. And we appreciate uh, our relationship with you, Mark, and have a lot of uh, adm- admiration for all that you pulled off the last <laughs> three days. Uh, putting on a conference like this is not an easy feat, but it was a great conference, great lineup of speakers. You were, of course, one of those speakers. Oh, thank you. It was exciting to hear, Mark, about you know where LinkSpring is going, uh, the vision that LinkSpring has. We're excited about what we're going to be doing collectively mm-hmm. together. But again, if you could kind of share uh, with our, our audience sure. today about what actually happened here the last sure. few days. Sure. Well, you know, again, thank you guys for being participants and being a great, great partner. And your wisdom that you uh, gave everybody, David was incredible. Well, and thank you. I've heard from multiple, multiple people. Where'd you find that guy? Where, where's he from? <laughs> but, and I won't tell him the secret. No, 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 no. Just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, so this is a conference that we put together uh, every other year or so, if we can. And uh, we bring together our partners, both strategic partners, such as in exchange, who we're partnering with, with solutions as well as uh, system integrators, contractors, and users. And we formulate content based on what's going on in the marketplace. And right now, as we are witnessing, the marketplace is in an unbelievable place. I've said this, and I said this in my opening remarks, we're at a place within that I've never seen in the last 25 years that uh, we're here. And where LinkSpring really plays a significant role, I think, besides being partners with folks like yourselves, is our controls, our solutions, our technology are the heartbeat of what everybody is trying to get to. Connecting all the different systems in a building, the devices, uh, the equipment, getting that, that data that resides in those and getting them together in some unified, formulated uh, fashion. And then being able to take a look at that data visually. Great, data is one thing, but unless you can visualize it and glean some kind of insight or intelligence from it, it's useless. And I think that really came to a head again, that was reinforced, and it's, which is all good. Equally, where we're going with buildings is electrification. Right there, I mean, right in what an exchange does and can help provide the microgrid, uh, bringing in EV charging stations and so forth and so on. You cannot have that discussion today with building environments without bringing up electrification. And again, this partnership, I think, really plays an extremely well opportunity for us to be able to deliver on that in the, in the industry. Yeah. You know, Mark, you mentioned a moment ago that buildings are at the heartbeat. And, you know, you and I have talked about this, that, you know, buildings represent 40 percent of the total energy yeah. uh, consumed across the United States. Eighty percent of the of the peak demand, three hundred eighty billion dollars. Uh, we know now, as you just described, there's a lot of data coming from these buildings. The ability to really begin to, to have buildings talk to the grid, to mm-hmm. interface with the grid. You know, we talk about grid interactive controllers. Um, just as we kind of wrap up today, just talk about how important you believe that's going to be in this world where we start talking about, uh, you know, grid inter- interactivity, interoperability, the things that were talked about here at this conference. Yeah, I, I again, I'll just use the same word. It is the heartbeat. It's the central part of 
uh, how this is going to be delivered. And again, if you did not have that piece of the puzzle, this is going to be an impossibility yeah. at the end of the day. And um, I don't know where um, buildings would be if we haven't seen this evolution that we've seen. Uh, again, I've been in this business now a long, let's just say a <laughs> long, long time. And uh, I've never seen it as robust and as active as possible. And there's a lot of factors there. And it's, again, energy, of course, the cost and being able to conserve it and really modify its use, you know, for performance. But we're operating buildings completely different than we did five years ago, 10 years ago. They're not fully inhabited anymore. You don't know from day one, day two, how many people are going to be at work, as an example. There's so many other types of buildings beside office buildings. There's our retail space. There's data centers, there's airports, there are re um, convenience stores and so forth and so on. So again, at the heart of this is management and controlling energy. Yeah. And I, I, if we don't do it, then, you know, shame on us for yeah. the next generation. That's Let's put true, it that way. True. Well, you know, Mark, you talk about how long you've been in this industry. Well, let me say this, not about an age thing. It's, it really is about wisdom and experience. And, you know, one of the things I think is so important and needed today is that ability to think outside the box. Mm -hmm. And boy, meeting you, you've oh, really helped you. us in many ways to look at buildings differently. And so that's why we're so excited. But, but again, thank you for your friendship. Thank you for having us here. Uh, and we're looking forward to the journey ahead. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you all very much. Thank you. I much appreciate and, it. And I'll just say thank you so much. The needs of our clients, it, it really does depend on partnerships. And this is a really valuable partnership to us. And I'm so grateful that thank you. we could be here in Kansas City with you and hopefully get to do it again soon. Absolutely. Now, I know you did an earlier interview. You talked about Go Chiefs. We got we to gotta change this a little bit. Go New York Giants. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Sorry, Dallas. Sorry, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs>